welcome back to the channel. So it's just a quick video for an update of what's going on in probably over the next week or two. Um, I've just recently done a tasting video for my dark mild. Now that's going to be out very soon. Um, yeah, I just I won't say anything, um, but that's coming out soon. So it's a dark mild, and it's the grain to glass video. And if anybody does small batch brewing, or if anyone does any sort of brewing, quite happy to share the recipes as well. So just comment below, and uh, not got a problem sharing any of my recipes. Um, so following the home brew, we have then. I uh, don't know if uh, anybody seen last Saturday's. Fab show, the food and beer show, where uh, with Spice and Easy, Simo Subs and Northern Southerner Beer Reviews, JB. Um, they actually tasted live the Fab Golden Ale. Um, came at 7.5%. Uh, they did a, like, a live review of it, and um, I'm going to do a tasting uh, video, just to follow up from the actual brewing video, the bottling, I'm going to do a tasting. Um, so... Go and check out the Fab Show from, I can't quite remember the date, what it was last Saturday. I'm going to ask Mrs B now to tell me that whilst I'm talking to you. Um, go and check out that video, the Fab Show one, the live, and you'll see Al, Simo, JB and Fee all taste that beer. And also uh, Miles was in the comments. He also had the Fab Golden Ale. Um, what was the date for last Saturday? Um, just so people can look. 16th. 16th of July so the fab show 16th of July Spice and Easy channel superb channel go and subscribe if you've not already done so I suppose most people on here have um, absolutely superb channel same with Simo and the same with Northern Southerner um, so yeah so I'll be doing a tasting video of the fab I don't rate my own beers I just like to taste them and just give my thoughts on it from basically the brew day to the tasting. So yeah, that'll be coming up. Um, I keep saying it, but I'm hopefully putting together like a Trappist beer series. Um, there's one Trappist beer I'm still waiting on. Um, it's a bit of a controversial one actually, because last year, 2021, I think it was around about January, it was uh, no longer could put the logo on the bottles being an authentic Trappist beer because all the monks had actually left the monastery, whatever you call is it the monastery, and had no one else there. And to be a Trappist beer, you have to be doing other things. And um, within that, I'll explain that more when I do the series. But so that's Akel, and uh, I've actually got one on order and hopefully picking it up in the next week. So, Dave. Belgian, no, no, sorry, not Belgian. The Trappist series will be coming. I was fortunate enough as well. Uh, the shop that I'm getting the Akel Belgian, the Akel Trappist beer from, um, had, which I was really fortunate, the Spencer Trappist beer. This is American Trappist. There's only one Trappist brewery in America, and it's Spencer. So I was able to get one of these. Absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to have a drink of my coffee. Excuse me. So pleased, chuffed with that. And also, this is another Trappist brewery. And this, I think, um, I don't know, I am thinking it might be Austrian. And it's Engelsel. So two more to add to the Trappist series. So I'm doing quite well getting them together. Um, I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, I'm not too sure. I might just do one a week because most Trappist beers are quite strong. So I couldn't drink a couple in a night and review them, otherwise I think the end review is going to get a bit silly and it could be anything going on with me, especially when I've had a few beers. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm looking at doing them um, like Trappist Sundays or something like that, the series, uh, but I'm looking into that and see what's going on. But I'm really chuffed, I've got the American one, got the Austrian one and I've got the rest and I'm waiting on the Ankel. The one that I really can't get hold of is a West Blettering, um, but something coming up about that soon as well within the trappist series okay so that's the fab that's the trappist and that's the dark mild that's coming up soon and also the channel um i'm gonna do red willow is a brewery which i visited and brewed alongside a few of my homebrew club members in the chipton tap and we went down for the day there's a video on the channel and 
since then I've been buying a few of their beers like cans and I wanted to do like a little series for them as well, Red Willow's reviews. Um, I've sort of got a good chunk of them now. So that is also going to come up. It's going to be like the Red Willow, like you have a tap takeover, it's going to be review takeover for the channel. I'm just going to concentrate on doing some Red Willow beers in a little series. So it's just got a run of them. So hopefully it won't be too boring because they're all very different beers as well. Um, yeah, um, just to say the next Fab Show is coming up. I think it's on the 30th of July. So yep, yeah, tune into that. I'm sure we'll have a bit of fun. I'm not too sure what's going to go on on that one. If it's a, a, a nasty sandwich or a, a nasty beer, I'm not too sure. But also, if you're watching this, go over to Fab and Easy. Fab and Easy. Spice and Easy. Fab and Easy. That sounds like Ebenezer or someone. Spice and Easy's channel. And have a look on their community page because we've also got um, like a question out to the subscribers to ask what ingredient you'd like to see in the fab porter, the Christmas porter. So if you can put one ingredient in there and then just before the next fab show, I will announce on the next fab show, I'll pull three ingredients which I think will work for a Christmas fab porter. So yeah, so go off and check out uh, Fab and Easy's channel, go on their community page, and you'll see that on there as well. Just put an ingredient down. I'll, I'll see if it's going to come together. Um, okay, so I think that's it for now. I um, hope you're enjoying the channel. And uh, thank you for the ones that are subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. You know, uh, like, comment. I'll make sure I try and answer every comment as well. Um, okay. What's? Oh, sorry, before I go, what I've got brewing at the moment is Neil Loves a Stout. Um, this is a bit of a collab with uh, a chap called uh, Neil, a subscriber, um, and also from Fab, from Spice and Easy, Simos and JB's, Northern Southern. And uh, Neil was chatting with Neil, and he's just like a stout, so I've named the beer, Neil loves a stout, I'm brewing it, and I'll be uh, sending him a couple of bottles as well for him to uh, taste. So that's what's brewing at the moment. Um, have we got plans to win it? Sorry, the spin it and brew it. I've just put on hold because it is going to be a dark lager and the weather's so warm. I don't want to be brewing a lager in this weather. It's just going to make a mess and I don't want to brew something that's going to turn out wrong. So I'm going to wait till it's a bit cooler. Then I'll brew that dark lager. Um, any plans coming up? Well, I've always got plans. I mean, I always like just go with, so I see something, I think I'm going to brew it. So. And then next time we update you, I won't be surprised if there's something else brewing. Okay, thank you for watching. I think it's gone on long enough now. Yeah, a bit too long, isn't it? Thanks for watching. Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one.